Hey guys, Sen here. Today I have what might be my most incredible creation. I posted this clip on our Discord where I cleaned up this dragon cliffs. Most of the buildings are gone, but my claimate didn't kill a single dragon, and just one of them can kill your entire army. So then a light bulb lit up in my brain. I zapped down the remaining post, dragged the dragons up top with some barbs and some rams, and I'll put this at times one and a half speed. Once all the dragons are grouped up, I drop some more rams to keep them in place and distract as three of my own dragons melt through all of that HP. Let's play that back once more. So ever since this attack, I have been working relentlessly to try to figure out how I can get this done in a serious attack to two-shot a dragon cliffs. So we are going in to try to get this done with two P.E.K.K.A.s, seven hogs, six rams, seven barbarians, and nothing in that troop bar can shoot up. So there is nothing that can even touch those dragons on this first attack. This is the kind of attack that we have a special section on our Discord server for called Raid Fails, where people are posting their clanmates fails against in the clan capital to vent their frustrations. And this is the kind of army that they would be posting. <laughs> nothing can shoot up at those dragons. But let's see how we can get this done. So in order to lure all the dragons in one place, you have to kill all the posts. And you do not have enough lightning spells to get the job done. So what I have found is you can use three graveyards to kill some of the back end posts. And then you can use a ground army to kill the rest of the posts. So we are pushing in with a ground army. We're holding onto those graveyards for when we have a mass of troops start dying. And that way we can have a ton of graveyard skeletons summoning at once. And they can overwhelm those backside posts. So I'm letting that P.E.K.K.A go in take out a spear thrower, take out a cannon, and I want her to get to this dragon post. Remember that P.E.K.K.A has that death explosion, so she doesn't actually need to get a swipe on that dragon barracks, she just needs to get close enough and boom, that's the first post down. And our graveyards are uh, down and they're summoning skeletons, they're DPSing down the post. We have a second P.E.K.K.A going up the middle over here, we want her to take out this other dragon post over here, and then we have a bunch of hog raiders, some hog raiders on the right side, spear thrower and cannon, and then we're going to send hog raiders up the gut to kill this Blasco over here, and also clear a path so we can get to this other dragon post with some barbarians now the main struggle with this strategy is when there's super wizard towers nearby because those can actually kill your larrys through the shields but that's not a problem as long as you get a lot of the dragon posts and get some serious damage on the other ones you can actually just zap them down on the second attack so we have cleared out a huge chunk of the base and taken out, most importantly, as many of those dragon posts as we can. We dropped two barbarians down south to kill that spear thrower down low and also zap down the fifth dragon post. There's only one left that we'll only need two more zaps for. And also those barbarians are also luring those dragons, sort of clumping them up. That's one of the other biggest struggles of this strategy. This strategy, I'm telling you, do not try this at home. It is so hard to pull off. We're zapping down that last post now. We have an anchor over here with all these trash buildings that we can drop a barbarian down and they can pull all those dragons over. Dragons, come on over here. Come on over here. I've had a change of heart. I think that this battle should be settled with words and not violence. If you'll come on over here to this quiet little corner, I think we can have a really productive conversation. So come over here, come over here. Drop down a ram, some more rams. All right, come over, come over. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so you're all here? All right. Die! 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 <laughs> Put this out one half speed. Die! 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 Now we have two super dragons melting through all that HP. Die for all the hurt and pain you have inflicted on us since the launch of the clan capital. Now they're all dead and because the defensive troops also spawn you skeletons from the graveyard skeletons, I make sure I start on my hogs while the inferno tower is distracted, sneak them in, take out the inferno tower. We still have two dragons flying over and so they're not going with my hogs. So I decide to support them with one more hog on this spear thrower and a barbarian to kill this one. And I also want them to take out this air defense as the second defense, but I'm going to start focusing on my hogs on the top side. We have a heal spell and a graveyard still left over. I was holding onto that graveyard because I didn't want to have air skeletons because those aren't as good at spawning 
uh, distraction troops for my hog raiders. So I decided to wait for those armored Larrys, but you can see I have so many hogs left. There's not that many defenses left. So that graveyard was basically swagged, as well as that heal spell was also basically swagged. My hogs absolutely didn't need it. We still have those two dragons flying through because we distracted those dragons with those battle rams. This strategy is so ridiculous and so much fun. It's so hard to pull off. Do not do this. I repeat, do not do this. I will not be responsible if you fail in your own raid weekends because this is is probably the hardest thing to do in the clan capital. I have failed so many attacks. I am not afraid to admit this. So learn from me. I'll bring you the juicy six dragon kills and you can focus on using the serious hits with the Inferno Dragons and Archers, but we aren't even done yet. All right, now it is time for round two. And one thing that I forgot to mention on that first attack was you want to pick out bases where the defenses are spread super thin on that first base. That base basically spanned the entirety of the map, whereas this Dragon Cliff spans about half of the map. You need the defenses to be super spread out. Otherwise, your Larrys are just gonna get mowed down and they're not gonna be able to build up on the Dragon Post and take them down. So on this base, you can see it's super spread out and these back two dragon posts, they're not really covered by any major defenses. And so we can easily pick those off with the Larrys, but these ones in the middle over here that's being covered by the Wizard Towers and the Inferno Towers, those are not good options. So we're gonna start off with some Archers and Rage Spells on the right side, try to push into this District Hall and also set up a Wizard Bomb. We're not gonna drop down our Graveyard Spells yet because we want our Graveyards to be down when the bulk of our troops are dying. So after the Archers, have gone in one after the other and just slowly died off, we are going to drop down our graveyards and start on our second phase of the attack, where we're going to drop a hog rider down south. That'll clear this spirit thrower as well as enable me to target these two walls with the rams. And then after those hogs start moving into this cannon over here, I will reinforce them with some more hogs. And those hogs, the purpose of them is they're going to funnel my P.E.K.K.A. that's going to start on this barracks inside to this air defense. And more importantly, we want that P.E.K.K.A. to reach her destination on top of this dragon post and blow that to high heaven. So now the P.E.K.K.A. is going in. And while that's going on, we're going to start on our wizard bomb. We need to be fast. Remember, that giant's going to tank this blast, but more importantly, it's going to pull this dragon away from my wizards. The dragon's breath does a lot of damage, but more importantly, it's going to pull the aggro of your uh, wizards that are shooting the district hall, and so we don't want those wizards to be distracted. Then that way they're able to take that all out, and they even want a piece of that dragon. They almost kill that thing down with the help of that rage spell. They're able to get a ton of damage on that blast bow, and so now with our remaining troops, we're just going to drop them in, try to get what we can, finish off an air defense, finish off the blast bow, and with a pack of archers, we'll finish off the Inferno Tower, but we will times four from here, because we are all set up, baby, for a juicy hexa kill on the dragons, where we're going to first drop four zaps on this side, because there's that air defense and spear thrower, so we're going to get a lot of value off that fourth zap, and then just three zaps on the other one, and just finish off that spear thrower that was already damaged. And now we're going to pull them up to the right side of the base. Now, one of the other biggest struggles of this strategy is that the graveyards from the first attack, as your rams are dying or your barbarians, whatever you're using to pull the dragons, uh, the skeletons are going to pull the dragons backwards. So you have to make sure you continuously have rams and barbarians down. I'm having a lot of trouble trying to group up those dragons because some of them are going for the rams, some of them are going for the barbarians on the other ram. So now another one try to go back for those graveyard skeletons, but now we're dropping in a couple more rams and we're also trying to pull them inside that rage spell so that our super dragons can just melt through those enemy dragons so fast. So they are standing in the purple Kool-Aid of death. After one more ram goes in, we're gonna put this at times one half speed because this is going to go by so fast. All the dragons are grouped up and we're just gonna drop down rams down below as they all start dying off. The rams die so fast. The timing on this is nuts, and I have had so much practice, but once those dragons all go down, it is time to finish off with rocket balloons this time because I have planned out that I would be able to grab a lot of air defenses on that first attack. The dragons are also still alive, and they're going to move in for that inferno tower. So there's just one more air defense left on the base. After that goes down, there's some backside spear throwers, but that will not be an issue for our dragon to clean up what is left on this base. <laughs> this attack is so much fun, let me tell you. 
but there are so many things that can go wrong and the moment you fail on the enemy dragon kills your attack is completely over because you have no plan b you have no plan b after your dragons die or the enemy dragons don't die uh there's nothing left in your army that can kill them and uh your entire army is just gonna get melted down so do this at your own risk all right, one last time for all the marbles. You always have to look at how you're going to take out each of the individual dragon posts. So this bottom one over here, super exposed. We can get to that so easily and take that out with some barbarians. This one on the right side over here is also pretty close to the outside, but that one's being covered by some spear throwers and some cannons. So we can just send any P.E.K.K.A. to blast that entire section open. And then these two on the back side over here, we can just drop down our graveyard spells because they're not being covered by too many defenses. This one over here is being covered by that wizard tower, so I don't want to push my luck. Even though you can get lucky and still grab it anyways, there is some RNG to the graveyard spell. Uh, I don't want to push my luck. I can just zap down this post and this one on the second attack. So right now, we drop down our graveyard spell towards the blast bow in the inferno tower. We're actually going to use that great or rage spell to grab as many of these air defenses as we can with archers. We're going to spam in a ton of archers after this last trash building is down. So then those archers can be the ones that generate the graveyard skeleton. So we drop down the two graveyards and now it's time to drop in a huge mass of archers once we've sort of tested for all the traps. Then a ram and a P.E.K.K.A. down south. The ram tests test for traps as well as tanks for the P.E.K.K.A. a little bit so that the P.E.K.K.A. can go in and blast through that entire section over there but we also dropped some more rams to tank some of those defenses as those raged archers left stealth and so they have a lot of juice in them to grab a bunch more value and also over here on the left side we drop down a rock balloon to take out that spear thrower so we can drop down two P.E.K.K.A.s to take out this spear thrower and this air bombs afterwards we are trying to set up for an air finish after the dragons now I don't usually recommend going air to finish off a dragon cliffs but because you're using those graveyard spells on the backside, and once those dragons die the enemy dragons that is die from your dragons you'll get some air larries and you'll get a lot more out of the air larries if you're bringing in an air finish so hogs are a good option but in this case i want to try to go with some balloons which is a rare sight against the dragon cliffs so once again we spend the four zaps on the side with the air defense and now it's time to pull down all those dragons with some rams, try to get them all nice and grouped up. We'll put this at times two speed as those rams are going in one by one. You can see all those dragons. It's kind of satisfying watching them all converge and just all gang up on the uh, poor little rams. But now let's put this at times one half speed because this is a beautiful sight. Come here, little dragon dragon. Come here, little dragon dragons and die. Die die drop down some more rams die those two dragons of our own are absolutely going to melt through all that hp unfortunately one of the dragons aren't in the group that dragon was smarter than the rest of them but we have a couple more rams that we're going to drop down to tank for them and we have two versus one we're easily going to win that battle and as we're generating some air larries it's time to start in with the rocket balloon so we get the most out of those distraction troops so we have four more rocket balloons in the bag and we have a bunch of defenses that we have to get through. We'll target the air defense before it starts shooting at our dragons. And then also the other air defense as well as the inferno tower. Inferno towers are probably the main reason that dragon cliffs and balloon lagoon are not good for uh, balloon finishes. Inferno towers are honestly one of the most nasty defenses for the rocket balloons. So much HP and so much single target damage that they're really hard to push through but we have two rocket balloons to push through all of that hp and now we have a bunch of rocket balloons converging to that last air defense actually at this point i thought it was all over because uh i completely forgot that there was an air defense over there i should have saved one of my rocket balloons so now my loons that are sort of at low hp are just going to get mowed down one after the other as they converge to that last air defense but you're about to see what happens so that dragon still has pretty good hp it's going to finish off the spear thrower real fast it's now at half hp oh no oh no oh no Oh no, oh no, oh no, wait, hold on. Oh man, this dragon with its fade away breath takes out <laughs> the air defense and the cannon that was touching it. Had the cannon been one tile away, I wouldn't have gotten it. But you know what? You guys might call this luck. I call this skill. All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's attacks. These were absolutely wild and so much fun to plan. So satisfying to watch all those dragons go down and so crazy to see that I'm sending in hawks and pekkas straight into the dragon's mouths. 
but also be sure to join our Discord if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of those exclusive clips that I'll be posting over there, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Take care.